So tell me, like, what does your faith and your family really, how does they impact your career today? Maybe the best way to answer that is my high school coach from DeMatha Catholic High School. I'm non-denominational Christian, but I went to DeMatha Catholic High School, and the four priorities that he had for everyone who played for him were in order. God first, family second, school third, then basketball or whatever your sport is. Many years later, when I went back to interview him, when I was doing work for 60 Minutes and 60 Minutes Sports, I said, Coach, what does God have to do with being number one in the world of sports? He said, if I had an athlete playing for me who had God number one, I knew I had a champion for life and in life. And he went on as a coach to become the first high school coach to go into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame strictly for what he did at the high school level. The winningest high school coach at the time, just an icon, John Wooden of UCLA fame, Red Auerbach of Boston Celtics fame, um, Dean Smith, all these old time names, they said he was the finest coach on any level. So for me, that is my platform and that is always going to be number one, is understanding and having those biblical foundation stones in place as my foundation. How do you stay authentic in this industry? How do you stay true to your faith and true to who you are? Well, if you understand what the truth is, if you understand who the truth is, then why would you deviate from that? Because what there's a difference between the world's wisdom and godly wisdom. Godly wisdom is the proper application of his truth. That's what godly wisdom is. That has served me well. I don't go around trying to beat people over the head with the Bible. I don't go around my office. I wasn't hired to proselytize, but it's who they get. That is who I am. And one of the staple scriptures for me before I go and do anything on air, and there are a number of them. The first one was Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all of your heart, lean not unto your own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. But I love Colossians 3, 23, do all that you do heartily, I love to say excellently to the Lord and not unto man. He hasn't failed me yet, why should I change? I love that. Uh, do you have any tips for college students looking to get into this industry? Understanding that you want to display excellence in everything that you do first and foremost. You will be hired on how much you know about a given sport or sports. How well do you articulate? Do you have a good grasp of the King's English? Because that's what's so critically important. Are you a good writer as well too? Do you understand the difference between if you're a sideline reporter or if you're doing a news story out on the street and it's a one minute and 30 second tell, can you do that succinctly? Can you make it interesting? Can you make it captivating? Versus being in a studio where you might have three minutes to tell a story. How do you tell that? All of those things are important. And I learned that throughout. But I also learned when I broke into the business at in a top 10 market in Washington, DC, not having had the benefit like you guys of learning about it. A, a veteran re, um, videographer told me, make sure you talk to the audio experts, make sure you talk to the videographers, make sure you talk to the producers, because they have forgotten more about the business than you'll ever know. And if you get their input, you're gonna come out with the best product. It is a team game. Ephesians 4, 16 and 17 says, that the body is like, that, that the faith is like the human body. Yeah, you may have one lead, but it's made out of many different parts in terms of the human body. Right. You know, the, the leg, the foot, everything. You know, every joint supplies for the fervent, effectual working of the whole body. That is an apt description of what it's like out here working with a number of other people, and if he's bringing a gift to the table, I better understand that because that's going to make a great product. Thank you for giving me a second to recall what that scripture said. 